Nairoku is Japanese for she loves me. She loved me so much my back stopped working. Just like one of my favorite animes. Mushi Mushi everyone, I'm Jeff the Hero. You might remember me from classics such as Kami Zero to Hero tutorial and My Girlfriend is Dead. How do I still appreciate her? The tutorial. The bad news is I'm still heartbroken. The good news is today I'm here to teach you how to go from Casper the Ghost to Hollywood star Bruce Willis! We're gonna go over a number of topics such as Hisako's unique traits, showing off some nasty footsies, a special move breakdown on how to use each move efficiently, and some flashy combos you can use to spook your opponent. Uh oh, watch out Sadira, she's about to love you too. Aww. Welcome to the Hisako Zero to Hero tutorial. Hisako has the most unique playstyle out of everyone. She's all about mind games, big risk, and even a bigger reward. She has an array of moves that rewards bold play, such as a parry type move, a sucking command grab, a quick command grab, and an ambiguous instant air crosser. Her pokes aren't the fastest and they recover slow, but they have great range. Her walk speed is atrocious, probably make up for how cute she is. But she's got a great back dash and her forward dash is the fastest in game and it sneaks under fireballs. It can also be cancelled early into special moves. Hisako has great Oki, which is her wake up game. For example, if your opponent tries blocking, you grab them and make them do a little dance. If they try back dashing or jumping away, hit them in the face with your stick. If they try attacking, you whack them on the nose like a bad dog and say no no no. Her normal grab allows her to go straight into a combo after linking a light or medium manual. Her auto doubles can be held down to turn into a wind up double, which does more damage and is a bait for mistimed lockouts. Take a look at the lower left corner. Left, left, look left. Wrath Meter. When the bar is glowing, all your Naginata strikes cause automatic counter hits, which gives special properties to a number of moves. That means more damage and different combos. Your bar depletes when you use special moves or use your Naginata. Wrath automatically fills itself by not attacking, not being attacked, and not dashing. That means that jumping actually gives your meter back. One last thing about Wrath. If you have at least half of your meter, you can use it to cancel most attacks into your parry. We'll talk strategy about this technique later. So Shoshin, Hisako's instinct, it's a game changer. The most important part is that her spine curves inwards from too much anime and she says something from Lucky Star. It gives her infinite Wrath meter and a universal parry that catches all low, mid, and overhead strikes. Just mash it out. Hisako likes to swing her big stick, so believe it or not, she has some of the greatest pokes in the game. Jumping heavy kick crosses up deep, jumping heavy punch is a long range air to air, and jumping medium punch is a quicker version. Crouching medium kick is a long yet fast low attack that goes into reckless. Crouching heavy kick is a pretty quick sweep which causes a hard knockdown. Standing heavy punch has superior range and speed as a mid attack. On counter hit, the opponent gets pulled in for a mix up. Standing heavy kick is very slow, but on counter hit, it does ridiculous amounts of stun, which allows Hisako to dash in for a combo or a mix up. If your opponent likes jumping in at you, put a stick in their butt with crouching medium punch. If you're fast with it, crouching heavy punch is also an anti air. On counter hit, they go into outer space for a follow up. There's a little bit of bad news to this though. All light buttons actually do not combo into any opener special unless the light button counter hits, or if you use meter to go into Shadow Onryo's sign. If you catch someone with a wall jump, make sure you go ooh. But when you catch someone with a descent, make sure you go ooh like a Mortal Kombat uppercut. We've gone through Vengeance a lot already, but to clarify, it's one of two parries that counters all of low, mid, or high strikes. Yo, Sadir, I got three letters to say to you. <laughs> Yo, I got three letters to say to you too. But I ain't racist, so I ain't gonna say it. If you feel real anime, you can use half your grudge meter to counter anything, including shadow counters. Disrespect! They say the quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. I don't know where I'm going with this, but look how funny he looks. Yo, get pop, son! Possession sucks opponents from air and ground. If it connects while the opponent is grounded, she makes them go on a bad trip. Shadow Possession opens a black hole in her mouth and sucks hard from full screen. Using Possession as an ender catches out the most damage. Opener Influence is the quickest command grab in the game. The light version is even faster than normal grabs. The heavier versions take longer to start up but covers more distance. If you have full wrath meter, you can combo off the last hit. Shadow Influence travels far and once a flash starts, your opponent can't move anymore. 
The Linker version turns Hisako into Speedy Gonzalez with green stink lines. I'd still kiss her. In the version is Hisako's final anime form, which causes a hard knockdown, allowing you to reset Wrath and plan your next setup. Shadow Ender Influence also causes a hard knockdown, but the extra damage really isn't worth it. On Reels On is the three-part Wrecker. The second and third strike can be used as a mix-up, choosing either to hit low as an overhead or as a quick anti-air to catch opponents trying to jump away. These strikes can be delayed, but are very unsafe on block. Now if you know your opponent is going to Shadow Counter, use half of your Wrath to immediately cancel and move into the parry in order to counter their counter. Opener Shadow on Reels On is invulnerable to projectiles. The normal and Shadow Linker version carries the opponent across the screen. And the Ender version triggers a wall splat, which gives you a free command grab. Back in the 90s, we only had Air Jordans. 2015, we slammed up with Air on Real Times. This move is super safe on block and causes a knockdown and hit. But if you catch him with a counter hit or have full wrath, you recapture them. You can play a pretty painful game of Leapfrog by doing this move over and over again. Doing this as a low hop overhead is done by performing quarter circle forward on the ground, then jumping and hitting a punch. The best part is that you can cross up or fake cross up by using different strengths to mix your opponent up. Yo, cool combo, Maya! Where'd you get it? The toilet store? Yakudatsu <laughs> to